Input voltage Vi is variable and load resistance RL is fixed in this circuit and we have to find out condition for minimum input voltage and condition for maximum input voltage. Current through this branch is IR, current in this branch is IZ, Zener current and current through load resistance is IL. We will find out condition for minimum input voltage. We have to find out minimum value of input voltage to turn on the Zener diode. Zener diode will turn on when voltage across the Zener diode is greater than Vz. Voltage across the Zener diode is Vth. You can easily calculate voltage across the Zener diode by using the Thevenin's theorem. That's why I'm calling this voltage Vth and it must be greater than or equal to Vz in order to turn on the Zener diode and when Vth is less than Vz, Zener diode will turn off and we want to turn on the Zener diode so Vth, Vth must be equal to Vz Vz is the minimum voltage that must be applied across the Zener diode to turn it on and I will use this condition to obtain the condition for minimum input voltage Vth is equal to Vi multiplied by RL divided by R plus RL and this is equal to Vz. I will rearrange this to obtain the expression for minimum input voltage Vi is equal to Vz in bracket R plus RL divided by RL. I will call this input voltage minimum input voltage and this is the condition for minimum input voltage now we will find out condition for maximum input voltage condition for maximum input voltage maximum input voltage is limited by the value of maximum Zener current maximum input voltage is limited by limited by maximum Zener current because this value is already mentioned in the data sheet and we cannot increase IZ beyond this value if I use Kirchhoff's current law at this node I have IR equal to IZ plus IL IZ is maximum IZ is maximum IL is fixed because IL is equal to VL by RL VL is equal to VZ so we have Vz by RL. This is already mentioned and RL is also fixed. So IL is fixed and when Iz is maximum, this implies IR is also maximum. Right. Now we have to find out the maximum input voltage using the Kirchhoff's voltage law. I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law like this. We have Vi minus plus. So we have Vi minus vr max because ir is maximum this input voltage is also the maximum value of input voltage so we have vi max minus vr max minus vz plus minus so we have minus vz equal to zero i will rearrange this and we have vi max equal to vr max plus vz VR max we can write as VR max we can write as IR max multiplied by R where R is the current limiting resistance plus VZ so this is the condition for maximum input voltage and by using these two conditions by using these two conditions we can easily solve any numerical problem in which input voltage is varying but load resistance is fixed. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.